all right guys in this video i'm going to give my first impressions of the new iphone 11 and the iphone 11 pro okay i just finished watching this apple special event okay i want to point this out it's amazing how many people watch these things okay i was looking at the the watching number right here the number of viewers right and literally at one point it was 1.8 million people watching this live right now and you, you know what's crazy is that you know some people are supposed to be at work right now so i mean i'm working I, I'm, I'm my own boss right for those of you guys that don't know and you guys are new to this channel my name is joe santos garcia i have a website called codingphase.com if you're looking to learn how to code go check it out and if you're looking to make over 200k uh, per year and you want to do this by actually programming check out my description i have a very cool link for you so you could get a checklist which is completely free of all the things that you need to actually be able to earn that much of you know income okay as a developer all right now let's get into it guys let's really get into it okay so first of all they talked about uh you know the apple arcade okay that seems cool i think that's really cool for developers like myself and guys like you guys that probably watching this that might be interested in creating games and releasing them through or through apple right for people to use it either through apple tv or through their phone right it's gonna be cool because now you could build a game launch it on apple rk and you know everybody uses it and because there's a subscription i'm pretty sure the model of how they're gonna be paying everybody is maybe by how much time they put into the, the game or maybe uh you'll get like a small percentage of how many downloads that person does per month i don't know the exact specifics to it but it's cool because it, it opens the doors for more opportunities for developers to make more money okay so that's definitely a plus okay uh we definitely want to make more bread <laughs> and it's cool to know that we have the apple arcade i want to try it out i haven't lo really looked into it but i definitely want to try it out i have a couple of games that i've been working on on unity and it will be cool to launch it there that'll be hot uh another thing that i saw was the apple tv and it's gonna be i believe five dollars a month like you can't go wrong like i don't think they're gonna have a lot of good uh you know original content but for five bucks you can't go wrong it's like you might as well sign up to be honest with you right i'm pretty sure in the future if they start seeing that hey people are actually using the service they're gonna charge more than five dollars okay uh but for now hey uh, you know apple tv plus five bucks that's not bad okay uh the next thing that they had it was the apple watch six to be honest with you i'm not a big apple watch type dude you know what i mean like i don't I don't I don't see the benefits on it. I mean, some people might see it, you know, they they show like, "Oh yeah, you know, we could get an EKG, we could hear your heart, we get the electricity off your heartbeat, whatever. Uh, you know, we can tell you, "Hey man, work out at this time. Hey man, get up at this time." And, "Hey man, you could look at the 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 freaking clock, <laughs> right? You could tell the time all day now." Like <laughs> I don't know, to me Apple Watch seems stupid. Um some people like it right at some point i wanted to buy like an apple watch or maybe the the samsung uh samsung watch but then i realized i'm like yo i haven't bought it and i mean to be honest with you guys i could literally buy whatever the hell i want um but i haven't bought it because nothing is drawing me to it like if i want to buy a watch i'll buy a regular watch you know what i'm saying like it doesn't i don't feel like i'm getting anything out of it right like it's not something cool i was expecting that maybe they will give us a little glimpse on on like the apple glasses that they're working on i would love to see that because i think that's something that they're really gonna do something cool with that right the apple watch is stupid what google was doing with the google glasses that was hot but once again i'm waiting for the apple version of the apple glasses i, I don't care about the wearables on, on my freaking hand that's stupid okay the next thing that we want to talk about is the iphone 11 okay iphone 11 it doesn't look that bad i'll be honest with you though i don't like the the way how the cameras look in the back like it's a square uh, it's a big ass square 
right? And then it has two cameras and then one flash. Like, I feel like that's so huge. Like, can't they put those, all three of those cameras into one camera, right? All three of those lenses into one camera. And they should try to figure that out. Because right now what they're doing is they're saying, okay, we're going to have a, let's say, uh, uh, was it the, the wide angle camera and then the regular cameras and each one of them is using a different lens. Personally, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit like, eh, I don't like it to be honest with you. Like I have this, I'd rather have a design like this with just like, Hey, one line and it'll be good. But I'm not feeling a big ass square right here on my phone. Right? So currently right now I have a a 70, which I might give away if you guys want. Uh, let me know anybody, you know, maybe somebody, uh, international students or international uh, viewers uh, might want to get an A70 maybe. I don't know. Leave a comment. Should I do this as a giveaway and give away this phone? It's like, I don't know. I think it's like $400. But, hey, I'll give it away uh, once I get a new phone. <laughs> so, once again, um, the iPhone 11, it looked cool, right? It looked cool. But it's pretty much of the same thing, right? Now, the iPhone 11 Pro, I wish it was bigger. I wish it was at least seven, seven inches of screen. Then we will be like, wow, like that looks crazy. There's a big ass phone with three cameras in the back and it's a crazy design. Like I'll be more, more hyped for it. Right now, I'm just looking at it, I'm like, eh, it's the same iPhone with three cameras, right? And that's it. But what I am impressed, right? What I am impressed about is the Bionic, the A13 Bionic chip. Holy shoot, bro. These guys have really good engineers at Apple. Right? And I think that's why, you know, 1.8 million people actually watch this live. Not for even the iPhone. Like, we know what they're going to show. Right? It's going to be the same thing, same type of iPhone, same operating system. Um, but at the same time you know we want to see what apple engineers come up with and to me the design of the phone wasn't that great it's the same phone as the other phones but the engineering inside of that phone holy shoot bro that's it that's a game changer okay uh it's the fastest cpu fastest gpu okay um the way how they have everything so like let's say it has a neural engine inside of the 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 chip right the bionic chip and that's cool because you can actually do some machine learning with this phone right and it, it basically that neural engine will handle everything for you right as far as the application so it, it won't be like other chips where they're like oh they're trying to use the same processing power it's like it has its own engine and like always, people calling me at the wrong time. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is. But yeah, man, I think like the most impressive thing in, in here is literally the 813 chip. Okay. I think it's a very powerful chip. I think what they're doing with the cameras is, is pretty cool too. It's just the design is ugly as hell. The design is ugly as hell. I like the fact that on the 11 Pro, is a metal piece at least it's gonna have like a nice shiny metal piece where the camera is at um but besides that like i don't know like you see like this right here this being all metal that'll be cool and i like this being metal here too but you know this i don't know about that this thing to me i, I don't know i feel like that looks ugly for whatever reason right um the ipad os i'm very impressed with what they're doing with the ipad to be honest with you okay this is pretty damn cool uh this show that this guy is doing c i don't know what's going on right now people have been trying to do all these movies about you know people being blind or they gotta cover their eyes and they gotta walk around blindly i find this extremely stupid like <laughs> For me, to be honest with you, it was cool on one movie. Uh, what was it? The Bird's Prey or whatever was the name of the, the show on, or the movie on, on Netflix. But for everybody to be like, well, 
this worked for them. Now let's all do it again. I hate when companies do that, bro. I hate when people come to my channel and they copy what I do and then they, they do it on their channel. I hate that. But I definitely hate when companies be like, well, this worked once. Now everybody, let's do it. It's the same thing that happened with, uh, what is it, Fortnite and PUBG and all that. Like, I hate that. I hate that people be like, yo, something just came out. Let's all just run with it and do it again and again and again until they kill a genre or until they kill a, a game. They kill the movie. They kill the uh, uh, type of freaking show. Like, you never want to see it again. It's like, it worked once, so they're going to use that same freaking move a million times. It's horrible. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but let's see. Let's see how much this thing is going to cost. Okay. Uh, just the right amount of everything from $6.99 or $3.99 with a trade-in. Huh. $3.99 for a trade-in, that's not bad. See, I love how Apple has their website, man. Like, they they really know how to present things. Pretty cool, right? Uh, let me see. We're just looking at the things that's in here. This is the iPhone 11. I want to see the iPhone. Let me see iPhone Pro view pricing. What's the pricing on this? Okay, five ninety nine with a trade in. Doesn't it's not bad. Five ninety nine with a trade in. Uh, Six hundred dollars. Now you gotta get no trading is a thousand dollars. And then if you want to have a couple of things so let's see we got the iphone pro i'm not trading anything you know me i ain't trading <laughs> so you got iphone 11 pro and then iphone 11 pro max i don't even know who will buy this at 5.8 inches bro like you're walking around with a small ass phone like you can't even see anything properly so if we're talking about let's see choose capacity what colors they got space gray i guess that's what i would go for i hate this i call this the, the gay gold right i don't like the rose gold i'm sorry give me real gold like if they had the real gold color that would be hot but this rose gold this is not cute i don't like that <laughs> i'm not walking around with a pink phone you, you get what i'm saying okay so let's see 64 gigabytes that's not bad i don't need that much but with all the new capabilities of the cameras, I might want to get a little bit higher. So 256, that's 1249 plus tax. You're looking at like $1,500. Ooh, that's expensive, kiddos. I mean, for me, I don't mind because I'll just throw that shit as a business expense. <laughs> and that's the beauty, kid. That's the beauty of, of, of like literally, uh, you know, having your own business, guys. I definitely recommend you guys to start opening up your LLC, your S corps, just so you could also get you know these perks of putting things into, um, you know, into business expense. Because you know I'm getting the new Mac Pro. I don't know about these phones. I might get it because my my wife wants a new phone, so I might have to get it for her. But besides that, I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna go that way. You know, I'm happy with this this phones, man. This android phones like they're good you know they're not perfect the technology on, on the iphones is way better but it's the operating system i like the mac operating system as you guys can see but i don't like the iphone operating system it's too limiting like i love the fact that i could watch youtube and also be looking at my nav navigations with a floating screen i love being able to say i'm going to watch youtube and then i have uh the google maps floating around so i can see the directions where i need to go to when i'm driving it's like little things like that that it's hard for me to give an android phone and say hey i'm just gonna go back to to iphone and even though i i was one of the original iphone users i just feel like it was cool back then but in 2019 2020 i don't think that it makes sense for that operating system to be so limiting. And the fact that there's no buttons, like you can't do a back button. You always got to go to the top to press back. I don't like that. 
I like having buttons to give me options to say, hey, I want to click the menu. Hey, I want to go to the task manager. Hey, I want to go back. You get what I'm saying? I like having control. All right. So it's actually pretty cool. So this is my first impressions, guys, of this whole event. It was cool, right? Uh, the things that I feel like were a highlight was the fact that there was 1.8 million viewers. That was cool. Uh, the Apple TV Plus for five bucks. That's not bad. Oh, by the way, if you buy a product, so like let's say a MacBook Pro, I believe a tablet or maybe an iPhone, uh, you get a whole year of Apple TV Plus for free. So mm, that's not bad for for all you cheaps, cheapskates right there. <laughs> People that just be mad cheap and be like, yo, I, I just don't want to pay for nothing. Right. So <laughs> those are you guys that just don't want to pay for anything. There you go. You pretty much get um you got a whole year for free. So if you buy a, a MacBook Pro, you could say minus $60 because at least you get one year of Apple TV, you know, uh, Apple TV for free. So you can minus if you spend 20, I don't know, if you spend 1900 on a MacBook Pro, then you'll say, hey, I actually spent uh, $1,840 because $60 goes to a whole year of Apple TV for free. So that's not bad. Um, but yeah, definitely the, the camera was, I, right. I don't like it that much. I don't like the look of it. The iPhone is an iPhone. It's the same shit again. The the best thing about it is literally, um, the bionic chip It's an amazing chip. Like that's it. Uh, hands down. I looked at it. I'm like, yo, they blowing everybody out the park right now. Like straight up. But anyways, man, I'm out of here. I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Listen, guys, if you want to learn how to code, if you want to get into, you know, the tech industry and you also want to make side income on the side, right? You want to make some affiliate money and you want to make some niche websites. You want to do all of those things that generate you income. So at the end of the day, you could say, I want to be a digital nomad or, hey, I want to travel the world or, hey, I just want to, you know, quit my job. And at some point I want to build my own company. Then this is the way to go. I have in the description a link and I'm also going to put in the comment section. I have a link there that's going to give you access to my free training so you can know exactly how this works. OK, so I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Peace.